स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय Ever since the opening ceremony, the Paris Olympics 2024 have been grabbing headlines, accused of blasphemy and hurting religious sentiments as netizens call it the worst opening ceremony in the history of any sporting event. On Friday night, the world watched in astonishment as the grand ceremony's controversial elements including drag queen themed portrayals of religious and historical icons sparked international outrage. a provocative drag performance with children seemingly reimagining the last supper has been met with widespread online criticism being labeled as hypersexualized and blasphemous most of the segments from the event have drawn significant backlash with many international political figures especially from american politics condemning it as indicative of cultural decline in western civilization While viewers around the world eagerly watched the world sports event that started with a colorful parade of athletes from 206 different places, it soon turned into a nightmare when most of the audience started to leave. The acts such as the beheading of Mary Antoinette and Philip Catherine's portrayal of Dionysus, the god of wine, also became hot topics of debate on social media. Meanwhile not just performances Paris is besieged by arson and bomb threats from a while making the Grand Olympic event even more controversial and questionable Just ahead of the opening ceremony France's high speed train lines were targeted by multiple malicious acts including arson on Friday in what has been described as an attack on France and coordinated sabotage to disrupt travel Though no one has claimed responsibility for the attacks given their scale and precision it is very clear they are more than just random acts of vandalism Streets in the center of Paris have been blocked off metro stations closed and thousands of police soldiers and other guards deployed to maintain security on the big day to kick off the Olympics However, the grand event seems to be completely overshadowed with the reports of crime and violence in the area. Surprisingly enough, the outgoing French PM Gabriel Attal said on Friday afternoon that he isn't fully aware of the situation. Meanwhile, the opening ceremony's provocative elements have sparked strong reaction from various conservative commentators. Amidst the backlash, some commentators reflected on the broader implications for France's international image. Finance and culture commentator Wall Street Silver compared France's approach unfavorably to China's, suggesting that France showcased the worst aspects of its culture during the Olympics. Army veteran and radio host Bob Lonsbury drew historical parallels implying that such displays might explain why many people historically left Europe to settle in the United States. <laughs>